this Tradacna gigas, a giant clam, is still young. It will grow a lot bigger and one day will weigh some 100 kilos. <laughs> Many of these bivalves are endangered species, but they are safe in the Tanyan Strait. The area between the Philippine islands of Negros and Cebu has been a marine wildlife reserve for almost 20 years. It is 160 kilometers long. The oyster fisherman Anzil Silva is able to feed four people with what he earns from his catch. He is glad that the water is clean and safe. <laughs> It's very important to me to protect this water because we need it for our livelihood. We have to ensure that our corals aren't harmed or destroyed. There's plenty of food on the ocean bed for the hundreds of whales and dolphins that pass through the Tanyan Strait in early summer, using it as their resting ground. At least 14 types of cetacean have been spotted here. A lot of money is needed to protect them. Annabel Plantia runs Biofin, an organization that advises governments on how to find the funds to protect the environment and biodiversity. There's plenty of work to be done in the Philippines. Yes, um... Everybody has to be in, in biodiversity conservation. And so um, we looked at government budgets and we feel that there is there is a big space for alignment in terms of budget so that you know these agencies will be able to cooperate and coordinate more effectively more money is needed for more rangers for example at the moment this part of the coast is guarded by only three boats not yet enough to prevent the illegal fishing using dynamite that continues to occur Glass fishing not only kills all organisms, it destroys habitats. The rangers are doing their best to repair the damages. They've been growing corals and replanting them in degraded areas. It would be better to put an end to fishing with dynamite completely, but there aren't enough rangers and they are poorly equipped. We receive threats when we report illegal fishermen. They threaten to kill us. That happens a lot. Wildlife conservation is a complicated issue in the Philippines because many inhabitants make their living from fishing. Over 20 million people survive on less than $2 a day. Bay City would like to attract more affluent tourists who want to see dolphins. The city already supports the National Conservation Plan, but critics say this does not go far enough. So maybe we can develop the program right now. And make it sustainable. Yes, right, right. Yes. We have to, to know that all coastal ecosystems are interconnected. So for example, here at Bay's Bay, Bay City, they protect their own environment, but the others in the Tanyon Strait will not do their own homework, then it will be useless. So we invite the, planning the structures are very complicated. The Tanyon Strait is bordered by over 40 different district and city administrations. Over 400 people sit on the Wildlife Reserve's management board. I'm sure they have 400 different visions and the challenge is really to narrow that to one and so they so that they work together to protect Tanyon Street. Just a few kilometers away, seaweed is grown for sale. When it's dried, it can be used as a preservative. Locals in the village of Okiot have set up a cooperative. But this year's harvest was bad. The farmers say it was too warm and place the blame on climate change. Before, you could get 1,000 kilos of seaweed from 1,000 fishing lines. One kilo was worth 40 pesos. 
so you would get 40,000 pesos. Now I only get half of that. It's no longer enough. So they have tried out different kinds of techniques and garnered praise from biofin since seaweed farms are generally environmentally friendly. In order for us to win communities from you know illegal fishing practices or you know um, unsustainable coastal resource management, we need to identify um, programs like seaweed farming for them to implement. People continue to fish in Okiot, but not as much and certainly not with dynamite. The dolphins could provide a source of income. By City would like a share of the profits from the dolphin tours for tourists. The boats would have to keep a prescribed minimum distance, however. Organising dolphin tours that wouldn't harass the dolphins poses a challenge. But it will also be difficult to protect endangered species without additional funding. We can always say that the dolphins are beautiful, but I think what is also important for a developing country like ours is to put a value to our natural heritage so that all of us will be able to realize um, its economic value, not just, of course, the aesthetic value, but, you know, the economic value, and that is what matters. Biofin estimates that 33 million pesos, more than 600,000 euros, are needed annually to protect biodiversity in the Tanyan Strait. Thank <laughs> you.